perimeter. Now, the perimeter is the first measure of two-dimensional shapes that we will be discussing in this course. Here's your checklist, and that is to try to calculate the perimeter of both regular and compound shapes. All right, let's begin the lesson. The perimeter is the sum of the lengths all around the shape. Now, because that's all there is to it, let's just jump right into some examples. So here we have a triangle of lengths 7.5, 8.7, and 13 centimeters. The perimeter is the sum of the lengths all around the triangle. So we just add these three numbers and we get our final answer of 29.2 centimeters. Next, we have a rectangle of sides 6.3 meters and 10 meters. We want to do the same thing, which is to add all the sides going around the shape so we know that those sides are 6.3 and 10. So we add 10 plus 10 plus 6.3 plus 6.3. And this gives us 20 plus 12.6, which finally is 32.6 meters. Now, compound shapes are made up of two or more regular shapes. So let's try one compound shape just for good measure. So we have this fairly odd looking shape over here and we want to find this perimeter. So we need to add the lengths all around the shape. But unfortunately, there are two missing sides here and here. To make it easier for us to reference, I'll just stick in two letters here, X and Y. And here we go, let's find the unknowns. The first thing we'll do is put in an imaginary line that will split the shape into two rectangles. Now from the smaller rectangle, we can see that our imaginary line is the same length x. Let's use this to find out what x is. So we have our extended line with pieces 5 centimeters and x. But from the bigger rectangle, we know that this has to be 9 centimeters in all. Therefore, x is 9 minus 5 which is four centimeters. And we put this into our diagram. Let's do the same thing to find Y. We draw in another imaginary line. From the bottom rectangle, we can see that the line is eight centimeters long. So we have our extended line with pieces Y and eight centimeters. From the top rectangle, the entire line must be 12 centimeters. So Y is 12 minus eight, which is four centimeters again. All we need to do now is add everything up. So our perimeter is 12 plus nine plus eight plus five plus four plus four, and that is 42 centimeters in all. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here if you want to get the latest from the Caribbean Scholar YouTube channel, or if you're ready, you can use the link in the description to hop onto our website and sign up for one of our premium courses.